What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the UA Live Break Room. Joe, I'll tell you what, it's weird for me to be here on a Saturday. I never do Saturdays. I'm treading into uncharted territory today. You're going to say Sunday at one point. Yeah, I definitely will. I definitely will. You're over under on that. (laughs) How many times do you say Sunday? (laughs) Exactly right. (laughs) Donnie Rollins, Joe Aguilar. Joe, thank you for joining us here on a Saturday afternoon. We appreciate you having us uh, with you guys. UA Live Break style. Excited to be here. We got St. Patrick's Day. Everything we got, we got, we got jerseys, mixers. The mixers will contain minis, full size helmets, jerseys, multi sport box, hockey items, basketball items, football items, baseball items. It's an awesome series. Thank you guys for the support thus far on that. We have seeing double full size high end helmet series as well, and we got the jerseys. And we actually finished our final general admission ticket. Done. There's it's Dennis Dayton in the chat. Sweet though. I know it's a I cool series. It is a cool series. Really cool series. What's up, Dennis? Dennis? Hey, Dennis. Woo, woo. Joe was actually just talking about he wants to listen to your podcast tonight. 7 o'clock Central Time, I believe you told us. Um, 8 o'clock Eastern. Is time Indiana, zone? Indiana Eastern? I, I, you know, isn't at one point of the year like the, the Central, the uh, Standard Time switches mm-hmm. there? Like it, it affects Indiana? Yeah. Am I Dennis, right on that? Dennis, you got to help us out. Yeah. We're, well, not we're not experts. that smart. I'm we're, not that smart. We're not experts Donnie's in time. Smart. I'm not that smart. Different type of smart, I am. <laughs> Let's get into our randomizer for this afternoon. We got a dice roll of a six or higher. Got to be a six or higher. Let's see what we can rock with four. This afternoon, we got a five and four. Five and four gives us a nine. That works. That works. Dice roll. Where are you at? Cool. He said yes, EST. So that is... Thank you. So that is seven o'clock our time, right? Yes. All right. It's a live podcast. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Of a live show. It's about gold. Love that. Love it. All right. So what we're going to do first, we're going to get into this general admission. This is our slabbed, autographed, Beckett certified, autographed ticket, autographed ticket slab series. Very excited to show the last one. Our final box. Box number nine. Box number nine. This has been sitting in this break room for (laughs) at least two weeks. People just picking around it. At least a month of just getting picked around. Let's see what we left out in box number nine. Guys, this is a top spot wins break, so we're going to open this up. Like I always say, let everybody get a little bit attached to the item, and then we're going to run the randomizer, and the person on the top, after nine times on our U8 live break dice roll, will be the winner. Here we go. Box number nine, Joe. Here we go. I'm excited. Justin says, how many seeing double helmets left? Seeing doubles, we got about 14 boxes left in the seeing double series. So bunch of those we also have st patty's day mixers and the jerseys looking to post uh some new series either tonight or tomorrow as well here we go so we'll have some new releases for this weekend which is always fun and here we go slab ticket series you guys are gonna love this bittersweet because it's the last one that we got here we go coming out it is going to be a Ooh, it looks like we have ourselves a New York Mets ticket. This is from Friday, July 24th, 2015, his MLB debut game. So it's actually from the game he made his MLB debut at. This is Michael Conforto. Oh. Michael Conforto for the New York Mets. This ticket was 27 bucks in 2015. 7-10 start against the LA Dodgers. He made his MLB debut that day. That's a very cool ticket. What a cool item to have for a Mets fan if you're a Michael Conforto guy. Yeah, real good hitter. Good player. He's a catcher, right? He's a catcher? Uh, outfielder. Outfielder? Outfielder, yeah. I think he was in the same draft as Kyle Schwarber, that, okay. that draft. I remember Conforto Michael being Conforto. probably one of the better players in that draft, which is probably, I'd be guessing, 2014. Does it say there what year on that ticket? 2014? 2015. 15, 2015. Five, six, seven, eight, and number nine. It, the winner is Dennis Dayton. Dennis Dayton, congrats, Dennis. Woo woo! Top spot. Woo-woo. Top spot wins. Miguel Rodriguez in the chat goes. Whoever wants to sell or trade that, let me know. Big Fordo fan. He's a right okay. fielder. Oregon State product. Here we go. First round pick, right? Almost positive on that. Yeah, he's good. He's a good hitter. Match is gonna be good. Dennis, you gotta hit up Miguel if you want to get rid of that. I would love to see it go to someone. That likes M- Miguel. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah Michael Conforto. Michael Conforto. Yeah. So mixture number one uh, sold out. That's ready to go too. 
Mixer 2 is uh, up on the website, and that, yeah, it's about halfway sold out. Remember, those are 10-spot breaks. Right. The, the those mixers. are top-spot win breaks. Yeah. Dennis, love that. Miguel's got some stuff. I know Miguel's been around quite a while. I'm sure he's got some Green Bay stuff for you. You guys can try to make a deal. There you go. Michael Conforto, pretty cool. Yeah. New York Mets. Uh, Justin says, anyone interested in a seeing double, double break? That'll be 75 a spot. Uh, two high-end helmets. Here we go. Let's rock. Let's do Mixer. Let's do our St. Patrick's Day Mixer. 38, 39, 40, 41 here in the UA Live Break Studio for a potential box numbers. Yeah, so a seeing double, double would be 150. Right. Seeing double, a double. Spot. Seeing double, double. Seeing double, double. I know when I saw that seeing double as the the name of that series, I'm like, uh oh, that's gonna that's gonna <laughs> screw me up at some point. <laughs> Since we use that term often in the break room anyway, a double, triple, eight box break. Remember that one? An octo. Octo, an octo. You guys framed my first jersey ever, which was a Conforto jersey. There you go, Miguel. All right. That's a true fan. All right. It's a true fan. All right, we got George, we got Dennis, we got Mitch Black, Matt C, Jeremy Field with three spots, Miguel Rodriguez with two spots of his own. St. Paddy's Day Mixer. St. Paddy's Day, the uh, idea behind that series. In half the boxes, there are gold coins inside the boxes. Gold coins represent $10 in UA cash. And guys, let me show you how much UA cash we have given away so far. Check this out. Crazy. Here is all the UA cash we've given away so far. In these St. Paddy's Day mixers, jerseys, minis. It has been absurd. It is awesome to see. George wants box 41. George wants box 41. Got some frame stuff in here. This is very cool. All right, 41. George, thank you for calling out the box number. Top spot wins. We're going to show the winner after the item. We're going to shuffle the name. Shuffle the names after we show the item. Being that this is a multi-sport, we can't really do a divisional break for it. All righty, here we go. We got ourselves a autographed photo. and We have ourselves a coin. So we got $10 in UA cash to go along with this box. $10 in UA cash will also be awarded. There's your coin. And your... Auto is a photo by the one of the most famous Chicago Cubs of all time, Ron Santo. Ron Santo. Love that. That's an amazing piece. He was one of my favorite broadcasters for the Cubs. Yeah. When he used to do, was it 720? Radio 720? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Him and uh, Len Casper, right? Uh, Pat Hughes. Pat Hughes, Pat that's Pat right. Hughes, that's right. Yeah. Len Casper, he does TV. TV and now right? he, he switched sides of town, so he went to the, he's in the White Sox radio booth. Okay. This, starting this year. Wow, did he? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he got a different job and didn't have to relocate. Yeah, well, you know what stinks Seven. for those TV okay. announcers, the hometown announcers? They Once the playoffs start, you know, they the network takes over. Ah, so, true. like Len Casper, when the Cubs won the World Series in 2016, he didn't, Look at Dennis. he didn't get to do the call. Dennis with another. Dayton with another Dennis win. with another win. Wow. Top spot goes to Dennis after nine spins. Dennis Dayton. Well done, Dennis. Congrats, my man. Woo woo. Ron Sano autographed. I think it's an 8x10. I think that's right. Try to grab that for you, Dennis. Awesome, awesome. Did you grab it? Did you get it? Uh, I, I haven't grabbed it yet, no. I think I saw it in here. Let me grab it. If I can find it real quick in here. Dennis, congrats, man. 10 bucks in UA cash and an autographed Ron Sano 8x10. Very, very cool item. My grandma would love that. My grandma used to be the biggest Ron Santo fan. Right? Man. Here Thank we go. You, Show that in a second round. Right. There you go. Ron Say. Ronnie, uh, what is... Uh, what was his nickname? Say hey, no. Um, let's say hey, kid was like Billy yeah. Williams. Billy Williams. Ron Santo. Ernie Banks was Mr. Cub, but Ron Santo would probably be 
Mr. Cub number two because Mr. he was Cub that popular, two. especially as he became a when he became a broadcaster. Oh yeah, he was super popular as broadcaster. Yeah. Former Cubs player, did they call the Penguin? Ron Say. Ron Say. Ron Say. Former Dodgers third baseman. Why did um, he, he get that nickname? Uh, because he walks. Ron Say, when he walked, he kind of looked like he kind of waddled. So that <laughs> that's why he became the Penguin, Ron Say. Really? Yeah, because if you, you watch him, Ron Say walked. He wasn't the biggest guy. He was more stocky, uh, big home run hitter. But he kind of kind of waddled. They called him. <laughs> really? The Penguin. The yeah. Penguin. That's kind of funny. Yeah. That's kind of funny. Dennis says, I am not a Cubs fan at all. Give me the coin and give your grandma the pick. <laughs> no way. Get out of here. <laughs> Dennis, we can work something out for that, my man. I would feel bad taking that off you. I'll definitely hit you with an email. But I very, very much appreciate that. That is awesome. <laughs> He'll love that. I was around Santa. All right. How are we looking, Joe? <coughs> Excuse me. It's a little quiet. I uh, okay. just got another order in. But right now we have three spots left in the Mixer 2. Okay. The tenth spotter, and then we uh, just sold out two the spots in the jersey. All right, just saw. Uh, sold just, out. Oh, Dennis! Bang! Yeah, it looks like Joe Burke. Thank you, Joe, for uh, completing that um, jersey break number one. Awesome. So we'll do that, and then I'll post the second one here. Cool. So we got three spots left in St. Pat's mixer two. We got five spots left in our seeing double full size helmets. Three spots left in Jersey or Mixer 2. So we'll do Jersey 2, and then we'll try to fill up that Mixer 2, and then we will run with that. Yeah, Jerry, we'll do Jersey 1 here. Cool. Awesome. I love the, the St. Patrick's Day Jersey giveaway is an awesome, awesome piece. We're also looking yeah. for the uh, Free Agent Frenzy cards as well. We'll do a quick breakdown as to what the Free Agent Frenzy cards entail. After this break, he was our wonderfully put together ad by Dennis, by uh, Garrett Price. Fantastic. Cool. Knocked it out of the water with that. Awesome. There we go. Guys, thank you for the fill. Thank you guys for the fill. Oops. Thank you, Joe, for getting the list updated quickly. Mm -hmm. Appreciate I'll it. post another uh, jersey. Cool deal. You guys want to give us a box number, please do. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number nine, Joseph Burke, bottom spot. This is a divisional break, so we run the randomizer before we do the box. There we go. And away we go. All righty. Mitch, NFC North, Alejandro, NFC South, Joe Burke, NFC East, Chris Magna, NFC West, Donovan. You got the AFC North, Dennis Dayton, AFC South, Justin Bonner, AFC East, and Joey Burke, AFC West. He wants box 33. Thanks, Joe. Thirty-three. Churdy tree. Whoops. Peanut Tillman, Charles III, 33, Tillman, that's right? right? That is right. Peanut, the peanut punch. Will Charles Tillman ever get into the Hall of Fame? I would say no. I didn't think but so. But I, 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 I love Charles Tillman. Nothing against Charles. I think he's just one of those guys who uh, <laughs> just is not so low, but he was still a great player. We always call him the Hall of Very Good. Yes. All right, Joe Burke wanted box 33. Let's see what we got. Jersey number one. JSA COA. And our hit is going to be, oh, beautiful. Headliner hit, in my honest opinion, this guy is an elite wide receiver. Elite wide receiver. Top 10 in the NFL. This is out of the Chargers. Top passes from Justin Herbert all year long was a huge testament. That's why Justin Herbert was Rookie of the Year, Offense Rookie of the Year. Keenan Allen. Yeah. Keenan Allen, fantastic pull. 
Joseph Burke. That's, That's not a guy we see often at all. He's definitely a headliner when we have him. Keenan Allen. He's fantastic. Yeah, he's off to a great start. Still a young receiver. Joey Burke, great hit, man. Yeah. Joe Burke, that's the epitome of closer magic right there. <laughs> Closing out the break, knocking down the item. Bang. Beautiful. He's got a nice little auto there on the one. He's a stud. Miguel, he's yeah. a stud. He's a stud. One spot left in the um, X Mixer number two. One spot left. Just completed it, so we'll have that. We'll do mixer two in a second. Yeah, Justin says, imagine if he stayed healthy. Yeah, he does kind of have some injury problems, doesn't he? Keenan Allen? He deals with some injuries. Keenan Allen is a four-time Pro Bowler. Four times? Wow. He was drafted yeah. in 2013. Yeah. Drafted in 2013 out of the University of California. Went right to the Chargers in Los Angeles. Didn't have to move too far for... His uh, professional team, four-time Pro Bowler in one, two, three, four, five, six, eight seasons. Yeah. Eight seasons. How many? Four? Four times. Nice. Third round pick, 76th overall in the 2013 NFL Draft. Who went before him in terms of wide receivers? Le'Veon Bell was in that draft. Okay. 2013. First overall pick, Eric Fisher to Kansas City. Who just got released. He's a pro bowler. Yeah, great. But he just he tore the Achilles, what, in the uh, AFC? Was it the AFC Championship game? Yes. Um, that so that's, Achilles are still a long rehab. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's true. It's too bad. DeAndre Hopkins went in that draft to Houston. Mm -hmm. Corderell Patterson to the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> Corderell, awesome guy. Huge ambassador for the for the Bears. He's, he's, he's fantastic. All right. We got Jeremy Field. We got Mitch Black, Miguel, Donovan, Rob, Justin. Let's rock and roll if you guys would like to give us a box number four. Our St. Patty's Mixer, number two. 38, 39, 40. Jeremy, what's going on, man? Who else got drafted in 2013? Uh, Zach Ertz. Darius Slade, Giovanni Bernard, Manti Teo. Manti Teo. Uh, David. David, number 39. Thank you, David. <laughs> 39 of 50. Coming down to the end here on this series. Feels like a lighter box. Maybe we have a little frame piece, a little Autographed photo potentially. Let's see what we got. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, nice. Three coins. There you go. Three gold coins in this box as well. Three and an autographed photo by Chad Johnson. Chad Ocho Cinco. It's a really cool picture too. I want to show it to you guys. Let's find our winner. We'll show that piece off. Awesome hit. Yeah, I think this might be the photo where he's uh, making a uh, the, the toes down in the uh, corner of the catch. end zone. Yeah. Yep, absolutely is. What do we have in here? Russell says you're going to break the other stuff that's filling now or is that later? Russell, we fill them as we uh, we break them as we fill them, Russell. Break them as we fill them. Seven, eight, nine, top spot, Justin Schuster. Justin Schuster is our guy. There you go, Justin. One spot, dot. Top spot wins nine times. Chad Johnson. Autographed 16 by 20. Justin, congrats, dude. Yeah, I think I just saw that when I was thumbing through the photos to get the uh, okay, cool. Ron Sano photo. Awesome. Justin, and 30 bucks. Nice. And 30 bucks, UA Cash.
Three spots left in Jersey 2. And four left in seeing double. It's a really cool photo. Really cool photo. Justin, check it out. Autograph 16 by 20. Look at that. Yeah, that's cool. Ah, it's hard to see with the glare. Tiptoe catch. <laughs> really cool. Awesome piece, man. Awesome piece. Think about it. Chad Johnson made that catch after eating McDonald's breakfast all day. Went That's out, right. That was his thing, wasn't it? Went out it? and made that right? catch. His big thing is that he eats McDonald's all the time. <laughs> Justin said I'm a Steelers fan. Anyone want to buy it? <laughs> Justin, I'm sure you'll find a buyer for that. Absolutely. I'm absolutely certain you'll find a buyer for that. Justin Schuster is a... Pittsburgh Steelers fan, favorite player, Juju Smith-Schuster. Ah. Related? No relation. No relation. Is he coming back? What do you think? He coming back to the Steelers? I think they both Juju? just filled up, Joe. I think our Jersey 2 and our Mixer 2 just filled up. Oh, I'm sorry. Mixer 2 just, we just did Mixer 2. Jersey 2 just filled. Yeah, looks like Russell closed those out. And a boy. Jersey 2. Thank you, Russell. <laughs> he says Watt, bro. He's a fan of TJ Watt. There you go. Yeah, Justin, Juju Smith is probably on the move. He's probably going somewhere else. I mean, you're not losing a ton by losing him. Deontay Johnson, um, James Washington, and then, of course, Cl Chase Claypool. He's going to be the right, number right, one guy. Right. He's going to be the number one. Uh, Russell, we did do Mixer 2 already. Yes, that was the last one that we did. Mixer 2 we just ran. We'll do Jersey 2 here in a second. And then I'll post a couple of series. Justin says, word, we are getting John Brown from the Bills. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, I saw he was released. He did, they did release him. He's fair game. Bears should get him. Right? He's injury prone, though. All right, Russell, there you are. You got the bottom spot in this one. Thanks, Russell, yeah, for the close. Right. Uh, the Moss get pulled from seeing double. You know what, Rob? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, if you guys in the chat have been following that series, can you guys let me know? Because I haven't pulled it. I'm not 100% sure if Garrett has. And also, we are selling those retail. So I don't want to guarantee that you know it's still in the series. But uh, I haven't pulled it. I have not pulled it. But if you guys know, please let us know in the chat if we have. St. Pat's jersey. Do we have a box number? Do we have a box number for St. Pat's jersey 2? Seven eight nine. Here we go. David killing him with the box numbers. Thank you, David. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Did I get two spots in the jersey and not one in a mixer and one in the jersey? Russell, I see, uh, yeah, two spots in this one. Two spots here in the jersey, my man. And you have uh, AFC South, AFC East in this break. <laughs> upping your odds on the jersey. Board. Never a bad idea. Here we go. Thirty-five. We got a coin. Ten bucks in UA cash going to the winner as well. And the winner is going to the AFC East rookie wide receiver. 
probably one of the uh, very few glimpses of hope on this offense. This is the New York Jets. It is Denzel Mims. Mm -hmm. Denzel Mims, not bad. Yeah. Not a bad wide receiver. Pick. Second round guy, right? Yeah. Yep. Denzel Mims going to Russell. Russell Vowell. There you go, Russ. Okay, if you refresh the website there, we should have uh, the Mixer 3 should be up there and the uh, Jersey 3 as well. There you go, Russ. Russ said, there goes any luck I have. Got some spots in the seeing double. Thank you, Russell. Seeing double is a high-end full-size helmet series. Justin says, when is Watson going to get traded? That's a good question mm, there. Right? Good well, question. We all want to know if he gets traded. He won't play for the Texans anymore. They, they, he will not play a game for them anymore. Let's see if we have a... Deshaun Watson, potential suitors for the Texans QB. Deshaun Watson landing spots. Uh... The New York Jets make complete sense for landing Deshaun Watson in a trade. Luck out for Miami as well as a landing spot. Yeah, I agree. The Carolina Panthers are firmly in the mix as a potential landing spot. You know where would be a good spot for him? Deshaun? San Francisco. Yeah. I think he will thrive in San Francisco. Good offensive line. Yeah. Good coach. Good young receivers. Yeah, Kyle, Kyle Shanahan, right? You know, who knows offense. He is. Yeah, I just think it's a pipe good. thing for Bears fans. Yeah, it's not going to happen. And Russell Wilson for that matter because the Bears just don't have enough assets. Oh, no. Uh-oh. What's the uh-oh? What we got? Uh, is the seeing double more high-end helmets? It exactly is yeah. right. That is exactly right. High-end helmets. We're looking at Authentics coming out of there. Uh, and the reps are only specialty reps. So we've got big-time headliners as well in that series. We did pull. We had two Bradys in that series. We have two Tom Bradys in that series. Seeing double wooden crates. Um, but we did pull them both, just to be very forward about that. We still have the Zeke out there, I believe. Uh, we still have a couple other big names in that series still available. Yeah, we pulled the cool Lawrence Taylor, the... Uh... LT was a bad blah 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 blah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyone? one yep. uh, was uh, we pulled that the other day. I know, but um, we have two spots left in that uh, seeing double. Man. Uh oh. Looks like. You're scaring me with the uh oh. What's what is that? It looks like the Seahawks are reconstructing the deal with Russell ah, Wilson. Ah, is that news? Breaking news? They are looking to reconstruct his deal. <sighs> is that is that the Bears fan growing in you, or uh, what do yeah, you mean? that's the Bears fan in me, not happy. I want to see him leave the Seahawks and play for the Bears. Um, we Bears fans do a lot of groaning like so that. Much. Just... So much. It says, this is a New York, New York Post wrote this. Yeah. As laid out by the Tacoma News Tribune, if the Seahawks reconstruct, restructure Wilson's contract to gain more salary cap flexibility in 2021 and push money into future budgets, that accounting trick would further signal that he is not going anywhere. Um, the Seahawks already would incur an NFL record $39 million dead cap charge by dealing Wilson under his current deal, 
which has three years and $69 million remaining. If his $19 million base salary is reduced and converted into bonus money, his 22 and 23 cap charges would increase by the amount restructured. This would result in the increase of his dead cap charge per the report. When a player is traded, all prorated bonus money spread over the life of a contract immediately accelerates into the current year's cap. So, a restructure and trade would end up costing the Seahawks more than $40 million against the $182 million cap. Just to have their MVP quarterback not on the roster. Woo! Damn. I said, I'm liking this break setup. I haven't been watching in a while. The dual breaker kind of got a podcast. Yeah, Russell, that's our goal, man. Trying to create more of an experience. <coughs> One left spot and seeing double. Cool. One spot left. We got four spots left in each of the series as well, and one spot left in our scene double. That's awesome. I think we can do a mixer double and a St. Patrick's Day jersey double after these next breaks posted. George, we could try it. We can do doubles for uh, jersey and the mixer. Is that what the question was? Yeah. We have three left in Mixer 3 and four left in Jersey 3. One left in Seeing Dub. All right. Yeah, I don't see that. Uh, you could have Cam Newton, the worst quarterback in the NFL. That's not true. No, the Bears have Nick Foles. The Bears do so, have Nick Foles. Yeah, Cam Newton is not the worst quarterback in the NFL. How many touchdown passes did Cam Newton throw last year? Not a lot. I need to look. It wasn't very many at all. Well, to be fair, you guys also have Jared Stidham, who's not much better. Uh, New England, he had... Wow. Eight. How many picks? Eight passing touchdowns and ten interceptions. That's really bad. He played 15 games and threw eight touchdowns. How many did he rush, though? I mean, it's sad. I mean, a former, I mean, former MVP. I mean, it's. Guess what? Guess what sold out, Donnie? Seeing double. Yes. Thank you, gang. Good day here in the UA live breaks. Doing some fun boxes. Seeing double is ready. Dang. 38, 30, 41, 42. Uh, would you guys rather have Gardner Minshew or Nick Foles? Probably Nick Foles. I'd rather just be bad and try to get a lottery. You know, not, they don't call them lottery picks in the NFL, but a top five pick. <laughs> it's just because the Bears could probably get another quarterback who's better than what they've had, a little better. But where did, where does you know where does nine and seven get you? you know? Oh, Cam had twelve rushing touchdowns. Did he have twelve last so year? We had eight passing touchdowns and one rushing touchdown, right? Cam Newton is the worst starting QB in the league. <laughs> Sean is very fixated on that. <laughs> All right, seeing double, let's go. We got Vincent, we got David, Jeremy Field, Russell with two spots, Rob Anderson, Tanner Wilson, Ricky Ashley. Guys, thank you very much for the fill. Let's rock and roll. Our box number is going to be box 30. Box 30. What's up, Ricky? B. Taylor, how you doing? He had 10 interceptions. Eight touchdowns, 10 picks. Not a very good ratio for your starting quarterback. In a very disappointing season for the New England Patriots. Boom. Divisions are set. Divisions are set. We got box number 30, according to David. David, thanks for calling out box numbers, man. Appreciate that, as always. Whoa. All right, let's see some fire, Joe. Here we go. Let's see some fire. Seeing double, I'm excited about this. Me too. Uh, Russell, we can't do um, we don't do divisional trades, buddy. The divisions we can't we don't do mm -hmm. trades. It would just it was kind of clog some stuff up. So we just kind of <laughs> leave the divisions you have. Yeah, I understand the concept. Yeah, yeah absolutely, totally absolutely. Just not something that we do here in our room. 
Uh, it's been that way since we very since we started the UA Live break room. So, um, yeah, I don't know if there's an efficient way to do that. Yeah, just kind of like agreeing, but I can't do that as of right now. Alrighty. Here we go. Seeing double. Ooh. Fire. Wow. Back at COA. Back at COA. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. A full-size Riddell Camo Speed Authentic. That is fire. That is Jim McMahon. That's an awesome hit. Oh, yeah. Full-size Camo Riddell Speed Pro going to Tanner. Tanner Wilson. Nice. That's awesome. Jimmy Mack. Jimmy Mack. That's amazing. That's really, cool. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. I like the camos a lot. They're different. Yeah, they are very rare for us to have in full size helmet and the authentic variation. That is an awesome pull, Tanner. One spot left in Jersey three, two left in the uh, mixer three. Awesome. Yeah, let's uh, after we fill up that Jersey three, let's do a double for Jersey four. Okay. I like that idea. Yeah. St. Pat's Jersey 3, St. Pat's Mixer 3. Let's go. We'll do the Mixer 4 as a double. Is that what you want to do? Um, or no? Not sure yet. I will post another seeing double um, in the interim here. Cool. I'll do, I'll do that now. Newton's 2020 was the most horrendous thing I ever saw. <laughs> Made me rethink my life, and he got a raise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. A large one. Uh, wasn't he? That, wasn't his contract one year, one million dollars last year? I think it was. They got him on the cheap. Yeah, he and now this year he's late. one year, sixteen million dollars. <laughs> it's a good gig. He got a fifteen million dollar raise. Right? Wasn't it one year? I know. I, that's. That's the thing with sports, right? I mean, can you imagine having a bad year at your job and said, you know, you were really bad this year, but we're going to give you more money. <laughs> oh, Still one left in Jersey. Oh, not Jersey 15. Three. It's up to 13.6, but base salary is five. Okay. Oh, okay. So, oh, it looks like here the contract is worth up to 13.6 million. Uh, about six million of the deal is tied to incentives. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. Put a lot of incentive-based stuff for Cam Newton. Make him perform to make more money. Because yeah, be if nice he has a season like with every player, but it's, it's just not. I agree. It's just not the way it works. I mean, why isn't it like that, though? I'm sure it is, but we just don't hear about it. I'm yeah. sure that every deal has incentives, right? We just don't hear so. we just don't hear about them when they make the contract negotiations. So what are the what are the craziest? Let's see this. Seven most ridiculous contract clauses in NBA history. NBA history. Yeah. Um, <laughs> J. 
Jerry Reinsdorf paid Michael Jordan four million he would have made with the Bulls in the time that he was playing baseball. Uh, pretty cool. Jordan got paid to play, got paid basketball money for the playing baseball. Yeah, that's just that's interesting. Taking care of Mike. Uh, Tony Batiste, strange clause combinations. Back in 2009, the NBA was full of odd incentives. Players are given mediocrity incentives, crazy shooting percentage combination incentives, and then there are Tony Batiste incentives. Batiste then on the Nets had a base salary of just over $6 million, but he was owed an extra $100,000 if he played 50 games and averaged 8 rebounds. Another 100000 if he averaged 5 free throw attempts in those games and an extra 100000 if he was active for 50 games and his team made the playoffs. By the way, Tony Batiste just played 15 games in that season. <laughs> Uh, B. Taylor, yes. Uh, no, yes, yes, we did. We did pull the TB12 in the mixer. Garrett did. All right, Joshua, thanks for closing out Jersey 3. Thanks for everyone for uh, filling that out. Matt Bonner's math test. However, back in 2010 the season, Spurs had an incentive as boring as Tim Duncan's dinner parties. If Bonner's combined shooting percentages equaled up to 169%, then the Red Rocket would go home with an extra $100,000. These are crazy. This is amazing. This is a really good one. And then we'll run the jersey. i got to read this one. This is fantastic. <laughs> Pretty, pretty popular name, Baron Davis. We all remember yep. Baron Davis. Baron Davis, the Clippers were ready to give Baron Davis a million bucks if he played in at least 70 games and the team won 30 games. That's right. Los Angeles was willing to pay an extra million bucks for a 30-52 and 52 record for Baron Davis. The best part of all of that incentive is that Davis played 75 games and the Clippers finished with a 29-53 and 53 record. He missed a million bucks by one win. Wow. That is hilarious. That is honestly hilarious. <laughs> he was so they needed to win thirty games in the season. He would have won an extra million bucks due to incentives, and they won twenty nine. Wow! And he played seventy five of them. Hilarious. That that is insane. Seven eight number nine. Joe Burke. To David, we got jersey number three. Jersey number three. Dennis says, how about a trivia? Dennis, we could, uh, potentially, we could potentially run that, man. Potentially run that. That was fun. That was fun. If we have some time, we have some time, we can do that. We got some stuff filling up right now, though. Jersey 3, do we have a box number? 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. I think we did, uh, which one did we do already? Oh, 39. All right, Jersey 4 is posted as a, a double. Awesome. Thanks, Joe. Mm -hmm. Here we go. 39 of 50. Let's see if we can find some UA cash. Let's get some UA cash in this place. JSA COA. And we have a headliner. Oh, awesome hit. Awesome hit. This guy's an incredible running back. Incredible running back. Bounce back from quite the adversity, you know, ridden season with his final year in the Chiefs. Kareem Hunt. Fantastic athlete. Good running back for the Cleveland Brands. Going to the AFC North for Jason Short. I Cleveland seen him Browns. in the uh, room before. This is the first time I've ever pulled anything Kareem Hunt. Is that right? Yep. In your my, nearly two years? In my here? tenure? Yes. Two plus years. Never pulled anything Kareem Hunt. First time I've ever seen his auto. Very cool. I've seen his cards before. But I've never seen his physical jersey on the uh Okay. 
Pro on, on product, but Curry Mutt Browns. Nice hit. Awesome hit, Jason. That was a Jim McMahon Camo Speed Authentic. Here we go. So St. Pat's Jersey 4, double box break is posted. St. Pat's Mixer number 3. Let me check in quick and see how many spots we have left in that. St. Pat's Mixer, we have one spot. One spot in St. Pat's Mixer number 3. Uh, we got two boxes left in the room, 38 and 40 for that. 38 and 40. If you guys, if you'd like to post another one after that, let us know. Do that. Pretty fun Saturday afternoon. You see the uh, Colorado area is getting socked with a snowstorm? Is that right? Yeah. Like, weather's good here in Chicago, but, uh, yeah, lots of snow. Colder Denver area. Hmm. That's not fun. No, see, like, we get teased with this stretch of good weather, then yeah, we're like, yeah. we're done with winter, but we, we know we're not, sadly. I'm still looking at some of these awesome uh, incentives. Here's okay. a good one. Here's another good one. Uh, Nick Collison for MVP. If you guys know Nick Collison in the NBA, never, ever, ever will win. <laughs> M no, or never would. Uh, my favorite contract clauses by far have to be the ones that offer uh, oodles of money for winning awards to guys who have no chance of winning them. <laughs> the most bizarre of these incentives was given to Nick Collison, who would be given an extra $100,000 if he were to win an MVP award, this in the article it says, "Hell, I'll start a pool and give Collison a hundred thousand myself if he ever gets a first place <laughs> vote, just one." Other award incentives included Rafer Alston getting an extra three hundred twenty-five thousand for making the All Star team, Luke Ridnour getting one point five million if he wins Defensive Player of the Year, and my personal favorite, five hundred thousand dollars to Adonal Foyle for winning MVP, and another five hundred thousand if he wins NBA Finals MVP. Wow. Uh, never heard of a Donald Foyle. I don't think he ever came close to winning MVP. Mixer 3 sold out. Thank you, guys. <laughs> uh, this is a good one. Uh, Glenn Big Baby Davis mm -hmm. was given an incentive to, uh, if you were to make an unspecified weight at certain points in the season. <laughs> Uh, look, Lakers Derek character salary nearly doubled if he were to make weight by the start of training camp. Wow. What's that? What was that one? So these guys were either too heavy or too light, and they needed to lose weight, and and their and their salary would go up because of it. It's kind of funny. Bucks forty, Dennis. Thank you very much. Weight goes down, salary goes up. Yep. Guys, how are we thinking about another St. Pat's Mixer? We have a double jersey posted. We also have another seeing double full-size helmet posted. Let, let us know if you'd like to see another mixer. We can run the last one we got in the room. Box 40, Joe. Box 40, come on. 40 of uh, 50. 40 of 50. Running out. Coming down to the wire here. See what we got. Okay. Headliner. Big time headliner item right here. One of my favorites in the series. We have an autographed 16 by 20 from Mr. Floyd Mayweather. And a free agent frenzy for Kenny Galladay. It's actually going to the Lions in this free agent frenzy. So oh, I think they are not they are not franchise tagging him. Right, they did not. Maybe they want to. I don't know. This card you could they they could renegotiate a deal or something. There's still yeah, you can a still chance. do that. Yeah, um, but it's likely they're parting ways. But 
yet we don't know. We never count any of these out in free agent frenzy. It is literally yeah. random. That board is full, but our, our whiteboard is uh, looks awesome. Filled. Looks great. See who's going to be the winner of the autographed Floyd Mayweather 16 by 20. Let's see. Six, seven, eight, number nine, Joseph Burke. Boom, boom. Joseph Burke is our guy on top. Joe Burke, congrats, man. Awesome hit. Joe, I can grab that photo for you, too. I have it right next to me here. Joe Burke, that is. Joe Burke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not you, Joe. Oh, Joe, you also hit the Kenny Galladay. Yeah, the other day, the break we had, you know, I was Chris Chiros, our ops manager here, was working the back. This side of the, the table where yep. I'm sitting, and uh, I think we had like Chris Berry and Chris Gibbs in the chat. It's like it was a lot of Chris's going on there. We had to clarify like who we were talking to. Which Chris? <laughs> right. Which Chris? That's an awesome piece of memorabilia. Yeah, that's cool. Mayweather Pacquiao fight. Pretty cool. Gotta get that frame. That'd be a really cool one to frame. I like it. I like it. We've had a lot of cool boxing product in the last Items, uh, yeah, right? two, three weeks. Yeah, I agree. Got some cool gloves. Yeah. All righty, guys. See if we can fill up anything else for this afternoon. We have uh, three left in the uh, St. Patch jersey number Let's go. four. That's the double. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Mitch, do you want us to run that? We can. If you guys are interested in doing that last St. Patty's Mixer. Joe, I think we can post. Mixer four? Let's do Mixer yeah, four. Single box break. Okay. Let's run that last Patty's Mixer. Mitch Black wants in. I think Mitch will, Mitch will draw the crowd. There you go. You want me to post that? You can come. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll post mixer uh, mixer four. I'll do that right now. Cool. We got jersey four, double box break. Coming up. Those are uh, forty six a spot, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, forty six a spot. That's another one we could. Seven most ridiculous contract clauses in NBA history. I love that. Uh, here's a good for the MLB. 20 most ridiculous MLB contract clauses and incentives in history. Uh, Hiroki Kuroda, his interpreters, and then some. Providing an interpreter has become a standard practice for clubs with Japanese players on the roster, but Kuroda got a bit more than that during his time with the LA Dodgers. Not only did he get one for himself, but also for his family. The Dodgers also paid for his visa and a personal trainer and gave him a $30,000 moving allowance. Wow. For his interpreters. Was that guy ever good? I don't know. I've never even heard of him. He was. Who did he pitch for? Dodgers. Dodgers. Uh, Japanese former... Professional baseball pitcher. How about baseball reference? Uh, he paid, pitched for the Dodgers and the Yankees. Was in the league for six seasons. He was 79 and 79 with a 3.4 ERA. What was the ERA? 3.1? 3.45. I mean, not bad. Over 80-ish. How many starts? He had 212 starts. 211 starts. I'm sorry. 211 starts. So that's a pretty good career. Starting pitcher. Not Not, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Hiroshima. Two left in uh, that jersey double. Two spots left. Dice K. Matsuzaka's contract with the Red Sox. He has given standard perks like housing allowance and a personal masseuse. However, he is personally guaranteed the number 18. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah. 
Um, wow. Some more fun facts. Carlos Beltran's equipment when he signed with the Mets, there was a clause in his contract that guaranteed the Mets would provide him with an ocular enhancer. For those unaware, an ocular enhancer is an advanced pitching machine that pitches colored and numbered tennis balls at 150 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. You ever seen one of those? I've heard of those, yes. Huh? <laughs> That's something. One spot left in the Jersey Double. Derek Jeter's current contract is for three. This is a little older. Uh, if he chooses not to exercise, he'll get a $3 million thanks to a buyout clause. Basically, he gets $3 million just to negotiate a new contract or retire, whichever he decides. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I love these. By the time he signed his last contract, Kurt Schilling was losing the Battle of the Bulge at the Red Sox, felt the need to help him slim down. His last deal with the team, including a $2 million in incentives, which would be one if he made six, if he made weight at six random weigh-ins throughout the season. He would make $2 million bucks if he... <laughs> I think I need that incentive in my contract here, because that would, that would really help me... Uh... <laughs> Random weigh-ins. <laughs> Come on, Aguilar, geez. Just be absolutely demoralized in the office and you don't make weight. <laughs> right? I, I could walk in here and look you and Garrett in the eye. That would be uh, too embarrassing. Uh, this is good. Hmm. You're going to like this one, Joe. Did we just fill that? Uh... We did. Awesome. We did. Yeah, we just filled the jersey double. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Is it... Cool. Be updated right now on the green sheet. We'll run that. Yep. If you guys want to give us two box numbers, St. Patty's Day jerseys. I love this one. Joe Burt, 34 36. Is Joe in the break? He is. Cool. 34 36. 34. See that updated list in just a second. We got a double header today, Joe. Double yeah, header here. Back tonight. Double header here tonight. Central. We got an 8 p.m. break as well. If you guys are looking to do some more breaks tonight. Uh, we'll do this double jersey, see if we can fill up that last mixer. If not, stuff that doesn't fill gets pushed back until tonight. You can say we're having some fun here. I don't want to kill the vibes, but uh, just a heads up if you guys are interested in coming back for some more breaks for tonight. Uh, how many St. Patrick's jersey boxes are left? Probably about 15. Probably about 15. So we should probably get through the rest of those on the weekend. Excited about that. We also are trying to release some new series. I know we're building some stuff today. Long day here, but we'll try to build some stuff. We'll get some stuff boxed up, and we'll try to release it as soon as possible. 34-36, double box break. Let's rock and roll. 34 of 50. Here we go. Here we go. Seal on the bottom. We're looking for gold coins, which translate to UA Cash. Cash money. One coin. Let's go. One coin here. On the bottom of the box, and our hit is going to the Miami Dolphins. It's our guy. It's Xavier Howard. Xavier Howard, fantastic player, defensive player of the year candidate last year. Eventually went to Aaron Donald. Yep. Uh, TJ Watt had a strong case for winning that. That goes to yeah, did. Joseph Burke in the AFC East. Joe, you're also going to pick up 10 bucks in UA cash. There you go. I love that giveaway. So cool. Ah, it's been a lot of fun. It's so fun. What's more fun than money? Right? 
free money. And guys, just a heads up, you don't have to spend the UA cash on breaks. We all have a ton of stuff listed as, you know, retail, things like that. You can buy mystery boxes on their own. If you've accumulated enough cash, try to win an awesome item. Try to hit a headliner uh, for the lovely price of free. It's free cash. Free is good. Joe Burke, nice hit. Yeah, once the UA cash is deposited, you can do whatever you'd like. Yeah. Four spots left in uh, Mixer 4. Awesome. Appreciate you guys for the support for today. Yeah. So we had six spots taken so far. That's a 10 box, 10 spot break. It's a top <laughs> spot wins. <Ooh. laughs> JSA COA, we got a free agent frenzy ticket in this one. And we're your jersey, Deshaun Jackson going to the Eagles. Going to the Eagles in the NFC East, Chris Magna. Chris Magna is going to take this one. I say Chris, Deshaun Jackson. Still in the league, right? Still a wide receiver for the Eagles. Had a, was he just released? Was I he? Think, um, in the last couple of weeks? No, he, he had a pretty had a couple decent year of duty with the Eagles. Yeah. He's been in the league a long time. Real good player. Always a deep threat. Yeah. I said, Chris. Deshaun Jackson. Double box break. You also have a free agent frenzy ticket. Oh, is he a free agent? I did Deshaun Jackson? Uh, no, I have a free agent. Uh, maybe. Is that, is that what you said about the... Uh, oh, we have a free agent frenzy. It is oh, I got you. I got you. Chris Godwin. Chris Godwin. To the Dolphins. I'll tell you what, when we first released this free agent frenzy, I would have never counted that out. Wasn't he just franchised? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Here we go. Donnie, what's the free agent? Okay, give me one sec. Let me play our awesome uh, commercial that we put together for Free Agent Frenzy. Be right back with you guys. Take a, take a look at this. This is an awesome commercial. I love this. Yeah. Production value is fantastic. It's free agent season at Ultimate Autographs. From now until March 17th, look for exclusive free agent cards that will be randomly hidden in various Ultimate Autographs mystery boxes. There are over 60 cards. Each card will include a possible landing spot for the following players. Kenny Galladay, Trent Williams, Dak Prescott, Aaron Jones, Cam Newton, Allen Robinson, Juju Smith-Schuster, Chris Carson, Chris Godwin, and of course, Ryan Fitzpatrick. For example, Dak Prescott could return to Dallas, but he could also land in Miami, Chicago, Indianapolis, or New England. If the predicted team on the card becomes that player's reality, then you will be entered into a top spot break for a signed authentic helmet via Future Ultimate Autographs Platinum Mystery Box. See which card you may land on by purchasing your personal mystery box today at ultimateautographs.com. All right, there we go. There's your breakdown of the free agent frenzy. Free agent frenzy. Garrett Price killed it with the commercial. Four spots to go in our St. Paddy's Day Mixer. It'll be box 38 of 50. Tanner Wilson's in. A couple spots for Tanner. Appreciate the support for today, guys. Saturday afternoons are fun. I'm missing out. All right. I'm missing out. <laughs> and you haven't said Sunday yet. I'm... Uh, ah! I just... You won't. You put it in my head now. I know. If you do, that's, it's on me. <laughs> Sean Norman, good nugget there. Sean always has good nuggets about the uh, yeah. some of the players we pull here in the room. Uh Deshaun Jackson, most 50-yard TDs ever. Is that right? That's I would believe that for sure. Oh, yeah. Right? He's always been a deep threat. Yeah. As long as I can remember him in the league. I mean, he was the deep threat for, um, I want to say, Michael Vick when he played for the Eagles. Uh, yeah. Right? Right. That would jibe, I think. And that was... When Vick was with the Eagles. It seemed like that was a long time ago. It was, head. but he, you know, he figured he's... Again, this is the second. Who was he with after the Eagles the first time? I, I think he spent some time with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Fox, okay. Let's see. 
Deshaun Jackson has been in the league since 2008. Yeah, there you go. Was drafted in the second round by the Eagles um, out of California. He played for the Washington Redskins for two years and Tampa Bay for one year. Okay, you were right. He was a three-time Pro Bowler. He, in his career, has 56 receiving touchdowns. His average yard, how do you get average yard per catch? Is it the... Sean Norman, how'd you, that was a good nugget. How'd, how'd you find that? That is a like good nugget. Most 50 yard TD reception. Yeah, right? That's good. Yeah. That's a good thing to know. Yeah. He's around 100 targets a year. Yeah. Did, does it have a stats in this past year? He's yeah. He's still a productive player you know what? in 2020. This past season statistically was one of his worst. Okay. He had five. Oh, he played in. Five games only. Started five games. Okay. I think he was injured okay. a little bit. 26 targets. He had 236 receiving yards and a touchdown over the season. Uh, his, he had an 81-yard touchdown. There you go. Deshaun Jackson doing Deshaun Jackson. Things. Exactly right. right. Exactly right. We have uh, three spots left in the uh, Mixer 4. Three spots left. I think we could fill that and then... Uh, Hey, you can call it an afternoon until we're back tonight, unless you want to keep keep playing. We're here. Let me. I got to tell you a couple more of these crazy uh, contract negotiations. Cool. I, I love these. I think this these are some of the most fun things to read. Uh, George Brett, famous player for the Royals, right? Yep. Brett was negotiating a contract extension with the Kansas City Royals, and they weren't exactly going smoothly. To up the ante, team owner and real estate mogul. Avron Fogelman offered Brett a 10% stake in a Memphis apartment complex. It worked, as Brett signed the deal and became a landlord of a top A-list a hitter. Ah, that's wow. pretty cool. Wow. So he, he had to have an apartment complex into his deal. That's nuts. It is. Um, A.J. Burnett, his deal with the Toronto Blue Jays, yeah. signed in the winter in 2005, was quite lucrative. Five years... $55 million. Uh, For each season he was with the team, he was allowed to have a limo bring his family from their home in Maryland to Toronto and back eight times a year. Uh, I did from the math. Maryland to Toronto? That trip is approximately eight and a half hours each way for a total of 455 miles. Wow. Eight times a year. His family could uh, limo I, I to could the game. I could totally see that being an awesome incentive. It's an amazing right, incentive. I mean, like, it's like, I don't know if I want to you know, play in this city. We'll, my family, uh, we'll take care of it. Okay, now, now I'm listening. Right. Right? Eight times a year, limoed to the game. That's cool. Eight, that's a nine-hour limo ride. That's but long. If you have to drive that long, you I mean, want to be in a limo, right? limo, right? I'm driving <laughs> seven hours tomorrow. Are you? Oh, that's right. You're going down to the Lake, Ozark? Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. Yeah. I'll be there till uh, Tuesday at night. Bring back clubs? For the, back for the Wednesday. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Can't wait. Um, <laughs> um, this is an amazing one. Raleigh Fingers, mustache bonus. Uh, the mustache craze took Oakland by storm during the championship years of the 1970s, and his team owner, Charlie Finley, chose to cash in on the gimmick. He went to the mustache king himself, closer Raleigh Fingers, and offered him the following bonus in his new contract. 300 bucks for having the mustache, and he would pay for the mustache Wax. <laughs> oh, I want to watch Ozark, Sean. I definitely want to watch Ozark. I heard it's fantastic. Have you ever seen it, Joe? I've not. I just heard Jason, what you've heard. Jason Bateman? Is Jason Bateman okay. in there? All right. Let me look. Mixer 4 uh, sold out. Trevor Tony Locks. Jason Bateman, I was right. Laura Bang. Linney. Julia Garner. Uh, I don't know a ton of these actors. That's not Jason Bateman. I heard it's fantastic, fantastic. Okay. But it's it's a uh, it's now on three seasons, right? Three seasons. Sean says it's the best show on Netflix. Is that right? Oh, that's tough. That's a tall task. Right. It's a tall task. I'd like to watch it. I'll watch it. Cool. St. Pat's Mixer, Box Thirty Eight. Get it updated.
I'll watch it, Sean. Maybe I'll try to uh, get it for the trip. All right, Mixer Ford. Thanks, everyone, for filling that out. Good to go. Appreciate you guys. Single box mixer. break. We got Mitch Black. We got Tanner Wilson. Couple spots for Tanner. Mitch, Trevor, Tony, Locus. That's a new name. Trevor, thank you for joining us. Uh, if you like crime families. Okay. The crime film. All right. We got box 40. 38. I'm sorry. 38. Last one in the room. So what do you want to do for lunch today? Mm. Get a little delivery, maybe something easy. All right. Got a lot of options in the Burr Ridge. Not true. It's all about Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> uh, have you ever seen Trailer Park Boys? No. Probably not your type of show. It's like a young kid kind of show. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like crude humor. Okay. Like a, you know what I mean? Like uh, super bad kind of humor. Um, no, I guess no. I would change that word. Uh -oh. It's more like a just like dumb humor. Dumb. You know? You showed me some dumb videos, so I. I <laughs> <laughs> we got a full size helmet. Full size helmet in our St. Pat's mixer number four. Who's our hit going to be? Oh, how awesome is this? Little surprise hit right here. Not advertised as a headliner. He's a headliner in every one of our series. He's fantastic. I'm curious. It is. Mm. Cleveland Browns running back Dick Chubb. All right, all right. Great running back. He's a great running Awesome back. hit. Awesome hit. Speed rep. Let's find our winner. Look this will be that. a top spot win. Look I at love that his auto. End on that I love his wow. auto. Wow. His auto is awesome. That is a great signature. Love it. Well, that's a fancy end. I'm going to start making my ends like that. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Do you have an N in your name? No. <laughs> you better change the name. <laughs> See? Six, seven, eight, number nine, top spot, Trevor, Tony. Locus. Bang. There you is go, that, Trevor. Lox. L O L O U C K S. Is that, is that lo Lox? Lox? Lokes? 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 Ox. Trevor, you got to help us out with that one. Give us a little pronunciation guide. You're, you said a Nick Chubb. You said a Nick Chubb autographed, Chubb autographed nice. Browns helmet. Trevor Tony lo Lokes. Lokes. I don't know. I don't want to say it wrong any longer. Trevor, congrats, man. Yeah, very nice. Sean said he learned from Dennis Martin. T Money 844 says better. That must be Trevor. T Money. <laughs> oh, L Luke's. 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 <laughs> He's like, I get that all the time. Stop I'll, doing that. I'll call him little. <laughs> call him TT. TT. TT is my boy. TT Luke's. I like it. Love that. Awesome. Closer magic, too. Right. Bought, bought Trevor, congrats, man. Spots. Ships on Monday. Ships on Monday. All righty, guys. Looks like that may do it for this afternoon rendition of some UA Live Breaks. We got, uh, we're excited about tonight as well. We're going to have some more breaks for you guys. We'll get some more St. Pat's series posted. We'll get some seeing double posted. Potentially, if we can work on getting uh, the graphic made, we'll have a platinum series potentially for tonight. If not, we'll maybe see that for tomorrow. But that is ready to go. Hopefully you guys are excited about tonight. We are. We'll be back here in just a few hours for our 8 p.m. rendition of some UA Live Breaks. Joe? Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone, for watching and participating. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of the uh, Saturday Absolutely. afternoon. Yeah, that's right. Saturday, Saturday afternoon. Uh, guys, thank you very much. We'll see you guys in just a few hours. Be back. 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. See you guys very soon. Thank you for the support.